In this session, we are going to learn about the cat command. The cat command has various use cases. It can be used to print the contents of a file. It can also be used to create a new file and add data into it. We can also use cat command to append data to the file. In the simplest form, the cat without any arguments will read data from the standard input device which is a keyboard and then prints it on the standard output device. Like for example, if I just say hello, you can just see I entered hello from the keyboard and it printed back on the screen. Then I just write some other word, right? Welcome to cranes. So you can just see it reads a line of text. Once you press enter key, then you can just say it prints back on the standard output device. Now, this might not have much of the use case because whatever you type, it's going to again put it back in the standard output device, right? So let us try to look into the other use cases. Now, if you just want to come out of this, just press control D, right? Now, if you want to read from the standard input device and if you want to store the data into a file, then we can use cat. We can use this output redirection operator, then we can specify the file name. So I'll just write, okay, test.txt. This is a simple file name what I'm giving. Now, this file, if it is not existing, it will create a file automatically. But in case, if the file already exists, then it will truncate or delete all the contents of the file and then it will start fresh, right? So let us try to write the same thing. Hello, you can just see whatever I'm typing that is visible here, but it's not echoing back on the screen, right? Okay, now to end this, press control D, fine. Now, a file has been created and the data is written to the file. Now, if you want to view the contents of the file, we can use cat followed by the file name. You can just observe whatever the data I had written is mentioned here. Now, let me try to do the same thing out here, cat greater than test.txt. I'd like to write uh, some new text. right and control D. Now I'd like to print this information here. What you can observe is the previous data is deleted and the new data is added up. But in case if you want to say that the existing data should be retained and then what are the new data you add should be appended to the file not overwrite it. Then instead of using this single greater than operator, we can just use this two greater than operators, which is basically used to append the data to the file. Now you can just see India is my country already existing, right? Right, all Indians are my brothers and sisters. Now control D, so I like say cat test.txt. We can observe that the previous data India's by country is retained and then the new data is added, right? So we have learned, okay, the three basic forms of cat, just a cat without any file name, it's of no use because it just reads from the keyboard and prints on the standard output device. And then if you want to create a file, we can just use a single output redirection operator, which is going to write data to the file. And then we also learned about this, wherein we can just append the data to the file. Now, the major use case of uh, cat command is to view the contents of the file, which we can just use cat for the file name without any output redirection operators, right? Okay, now we can use various options with this. Now let us say if you want to give a line numbers for every line, then we can just use hyphen n. The, the options can be used after the file name or before the file name. Generally it is used, okay, in between after the command, options and the file name, right? So I can use this way or I can also use this way which is more commonly used, right? Okay. Now I'd like to add some more contents into this. Now I'd like to just say cat test.txt, the different states in India are, right? And then I'd like to say Karnataka and few lines, then I'll say Kerala, right? Okay, then I'd like to say Tamil Nadu, and then I'd like to say uh, Telangana, right? Now, I'd like to print this contents. You can just observe this. What? Okay, you can observe that there are a lot of uh, blank lines between the Karnataka and Kerala out here, 
right and between okay kerala and tamil nadu also there is one blank line but between karnataka and kerala there are several blank lines and if you want to see the numbers along with that you can use the hyphen n option you can just have a look out that that we do have three blank lines between karnataka and kerala right now there is an option called as hyphen b now what this hyphen b does is it will not give numbers for all the lines it will only start giving numbers only for non blank lines you can just observe for the blank lines it is not going to give me any line number only for the non blank lines it gives me the line number right okay the next thing is in case if there are multiple blank space between two lines of text and then if you want to squeeze them we can use the option hyphen s you can just observe whenever there is more than one blank line it's going to squeeze that you can just see i can just use b and s together you can just observe this or might be even n and s right so earlier we just had the data like three blank lines here and when you use this uh, s along with that you can just see it is squeezing multiple blank lines into one blank line right okay now one more use case of cat commanders like if you have multiple files with data then you can take up all the file contents and then combine together and put it into one final directory right like for example let me just try to create file1.txt now let me just try to have one name out here i'll just write karnataka right cat file2.txt and say maharashtra right now in just see cat file1.txt and the same way okay this one so with the cat you can also give multiple file names i can just say cat file1.txt as well as file2.txt it's going to print the content of file1 first followed by file2 next now whatever the data has been printed out here if you want to say that okay you want to combine this data and then put in the third file we can just see whatever was printing on the screen i'd like to say that i'd like to put into the destination file if you want to create a fresh file or override existing contents the symbol is okay but in case if you want to append you can just use the symbol right okay now let me just try to say i'll say indian states right now i'd like to see the contents of indian states fine okay so these are the various use cases of cat command and for more information about cat you can always look into the man page of cat thank you